What's up, crypto fanatics? We're here at Token Summit SF. I'm your host, Chango and Jane. Let's see what's behind the scenes. Blockchain today is obviously extremely hot. Uh, it wasn't always this way. In 2013, you had the first VC interest and you know folks getting into the space. And there's a huge crash in 2014 that weeded a lot of companies out. Um, 2015 and 2016, it was kind of a consolidation period where infrastructure is being built, Ethereum was built, and so on. And early 2017 was a huge breakout, as people know, with the rise of Ethereum. Um, that brings us to the present day. Uh, what I think is going to happen over the next year, um, well, really it's going to be in part dependent upon market sentiment. Right now, uh, there's a non-trivial possibility of a large crash. Um, that is, tokens could fall. Uh, they've come up enormously in a year, and uh, there's, there's, the usage is not yet there to support them. But um, it's also possible this could go on for some time. And if it does, uh, you're going to start to see a tremendous number of applications because a lot of investment in applications and infrastructure and so on over the course of the year. You're starting to see the first kind of fun type of things like CryptoKitties and, and whatnot. And you're going to see many more things like that that are actually using the blockchain to do something novel and interesting. the Ethereum proof of stake protocol that has been in development since 2014 and will replace proof of work on the Ethereum network. Proof of stake was the idea that once we created a cryptocurrency using uh, blockchains, instead of using electricity as a resource uh, limiter, we can use the currency itself as the resource limiter. Proof of Work is a consensus protocol designed by Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008, which provides a single source of truth for a public blockchain. Tendermint is a consensus protocol uh, designed around proof of stake and is based off of traditional BFT consensus rather than the Nakamoto consensus. The, the need for decentralized dis storage can be really any applications. We see ourselves as a base layer, and, and it, as that base layer, all the data is uh, sharded and encrypted and then distributed broadly. So it can really be for any application that we're, really values privacy and security. We like to say that you know any application that's built on top of our data layer is private by design and secure by default. We should be a ubiquitous uh, layer that anyone can use to build applications on top of. The state of blockchain today is still a nascent technology trying to find its feet, but I like to describe the entirety of uh, where it's at today as um, the digitization of value. Right, so it started with Bitcoin, which digitized an M2 money type, or that was the original idea. Um, we're now seeing the digitization of all types of value, which could be a range of different utility tokens, as we've seen, um, and we're now seeing the capital markets enter in a big way. We're going to see state-backed cryptocurrencies. We're going to see state-backed infrastructure projects. The world's really looking for two things on the asset class side of things, as, as value as digitized. Uh, I'm with Jihan Chu, managing partner of Kinetic Capital. Jihan Chu is based in Hong Kong. Will you tell us a little bit about the cryptocurrency space uh, in Hong Kong and Asia in general? Sure. Uh, the cryptocurrency space in, in Hong Kong and Asia is really booming. Uh, I think we're starting to see an incredible growth, uh, both from a uh, developer perspective and from an activity perspective and investment perspective. Uh, and I think from the, even the professional industry, uh, the blockchain uh, kind of industry is really becoming just quite uh, robust. Uh, and you're starting to see it like all across the region. So Hong Kong is booming. We're starting to see a number uh, of token sales as well as applications being built uh, and domiciled in Hong Kong. Professional services from uh, legal firms, governance firms, accounting, tax, uh, as well as marketing, starting to really come up in Hong Kong. Why, you know, why is this an effort that the Ethereum community and Omisigo in particular putting effort into? Why is this important? Uh, one thing of note that uh, the Ethereum community is uh, sponsoring, with uh, Omisigo leading this initiative, is uh, a social infrastructure research project. Uh, being co-funded with a Scandinavian university to study the effect of decentralized finance technology that uh, is being deployed 
uh, in developing countries in Asia Pacific. So mostly on how this could be expected, availability of um, Ethereum-based or, or you know smart contract platform-based uh, monies on uh, more vulnerable populations uh, that are you know, unbanked. They, they don't have access to formal financial services. Cosmos is uh, a network of blockchains. Uh, it's an infrastructure project that will benefit the entire cryptocurrency community. Cosmos is based on uh, a proof-of-stake uh, algorithm uh, called Tendermint, uh, which goes back to Byzantine fault tolerant consensus research that spans decades, even before Bitcoin came out. Tendermint doesn't require proof-of-work. Uh, it uses public-private key signatures, so signing uh, by secure validators to come to consensus about the state of the, net, the network. To date, the total market cap of all token economies is greater than $300 billion. Cosmos is the internet of blockchains. Yeah. Cosmos enables the deep integration of token economies. That's a wrap for Token Summit. See y'all at the next one.